Hi guys, welcome to Easy Swahili. Today we're going to learn about ndoa za Kenya. Kenyan marriages. This is quite interesting especially if you're a foreigner who is looking into marrying a Kenyan um who is living in Nairobi or any part of Kenya. So the registrar office is found in Nairobi. All the marriages are registered in Nairobi, but there are other offices of the Attorney General that are um in the outskirts of Nairobi like Mombasa and other cities even in Kakuma and Dadab there are some offices there so let's get to the main point ndoa nchini Kenya mm -hmm. marriages in Kenya now according to the law 2014 that was passed sheria ndoa 2014 inatambua mifumo ifuatayo ya ndoa it recognizes about five types of marriages First, we have ndoa za kiraia. This is civil marriages. Ndoa za kiraia zinatendeka katika ofisi ya mwanasheria mkuu. These marriages happen in the office of the attorney general and they require minimum um, requirements. I will just take you through what you require for these civil marriages. We have ndoa za kikristo. This is Christian marriages. I mean, Kenya is about, I think, 70% Christians. And that is why uh, we have ndoa za kikristo because they majorly happen uh, in around Kenya. So ndoa za kihindi, we also have Hindu marriages. Uh, ndoa za kimila, this is customary marriages. This is always, it always happens like in the villages, or even here in Nairobi. So the groom's family visits the bride's family and they go there to ask hand in marriage. And then um, the visits are not just one. So there's this introduction part where you go to introduce yourself and say you're so-and-so and you're interested in marrying so-and-so. That is the daughter in the family. And the second visit is about, you know, um, payment of dowry if you guys agree. And dowry can be as low as low as 10,000 shillings and it can be as high as half a million so it depends with your negotiation skills and there are those parents who really they they really don't want that bride price but they want to see the kind of life that you're going to give their daughter and that is their priority number one but if you find like those families that they really want to rip out of you sorry for that but you should always talk to your lady so that you understand the lady understands the the guy's position or um the couple's position in terms of finances so that once they go and demand a lot I mean, the lady is able to speak to the parents and, you know, like to just um, consider this guy from, you know, his family and all that. So it's always negotiation. So there's no way that, um, you know, a bride price, a lady will quote her own bride price. So it's always a negotiation between families. Finally, we have Ndoa Zaki Islamo. Ndoa Zaki Islamo, these are Islam marriages and they do happen under sharia law and under a person called kathy so this is a unique marriage whereby you celebrate marriage then you come and register later it's not like you register and then you celebrate now it's the other way around and so this person nika is the name of the marriage in general and then they exchange an ijab i think in the presence of um a witness and then there's an acceptance called kubal which normally the two parties accept. And then once they accept, sometimes a form of mare, mare is a dowry, is paid to the lady, the lady's family. And so after the customary rights, the two parties, they must notify the registrar within 90 day period of the intention to register their union. That is after the marriage. So once a Muslim marriage has been contracted, yeah, it should be registered within seven days and this should be done at the office of the Registrar of Islam, mar Islamic Marriages. And one is not allowed to marry two wives at a go, meaning the marriage will be regular. So it's just people exchanging some words and yeah, yeah, I accept this. Okay, so this is, this is marriage, unlike uh, Christian marriage or civil marriages. So the people who like witness the marriage, they have to, uh, to go to the office of the marriages the registrar office of the mar of marriages and then um a certificate is paid for about 1100 kenyan shillings and it takes about seven days to be processed and so yeah so they're quite lucky as we continue monandoa mtarajiwa monandoa mtarajiwa this is a prospective spouse um 
ili kuolewa au kuoa nchini Kenya what do you need hmm? for want to marry or get married what do you need first of all you need to be 18 years and above miaka 18 au zaidi hmm? uhusiano na mtu wa jinsia tofauti in a heterosexual relationship yeah so Kenya is basically they recognize heterosexual relationships and not homosexual relationships and so we have a long way to go for us to reach that acceptance yeah especially when you're registering for marriage so if you're in love with someone who is of the same sex you'll have to go outside of Kenya for you to get married to this person now you don't need to be in a marriage hufai kuwa na ndoa because this is common knowledge I mean don't need you're getting married don't need to be in another marriage either divorced or maybe your spouse died mm-hmm. the fourth part is unaelewa maana ya ndoa na kuukubali you understand the meaning of marriage and you are agreeing to it I mean of course this is the reason as to why you coming to register your marriage either you're not in one or maybe your spouse died or you divorced and so this caps out people who are in the puberty age Yeah and like the Islam law one can be in puberty when getting married which is quite unfortunate On to our next slide mtu anahitaji nini mtu anahitaji nini what do you need what do you require you as a person who came to the registrar of marriages uh, we're looking at four, three types of marriages this is ndoa za kiraia kikristo na kihindi mtu anahitaji kitambulisho halali na kala na asili you need a valid id original and a copy and if you're a refugee you need an alien id if you have it or your waiting card yeah there are those ids that are given in um in camps refugee camps in dadab and kakuma in Kenya and so you need to have that secondly you need to have picha ya passport ya rangi kwa kila mwombaji mwombaji someone is an applicant yeah colored passport photo for each applicant and the third part is nakala ya cheti cha kifo au amri ya talaka ikiwa wewe ni mjane hati ya kiapo ya kudhibitishi kudhibitisha hali ya ndoa iwapo amri ya talaka au cheti kifo ni zaidi ya cheti cha kifo ni zaidi ya miaka miwili look at this yeah you need a photocopy of your death certificate or divorce decree the one that you given and you need to show in to to swear an affidavit to confirm marital status yeah if there's death or divorce and if the cert is more than two years but if it's less than two years you can still go with it yeah so nakala ya cheti cha kifo until now i believe everything is clear yeah if you have any question just you know put them on the comment section so that i can answer you after gathering all those documents that i had mentioned earlier you need kutoa ilani ya maandishi ya angalau siku 21 kwa msajili wa ndoa toa ilani ya maandishi ya angalau siku 21 kwa msajili wa ndoa you need to give a written notice of at least 21 days to the registrar of marriages this is to just make it known that you're getting married yeah the second part pande zote mbili zinafaa kufika mbele ya msajili ili kujaza fomu ya ilani na kuambatanisha hati zifuatazo ya kwanza ni kadi halali ya mgeni au kitambulisho cha mkimbizi au kitambulisho chako au hati ya kusubiri ikiwa unayo yote na kala na ya asili ndio afikiri hapa both parties should appear before the registrar to fill a notice form and attach the following documents first of all you need an id or a valid alien card or a refugee id or a waiting card both copy and original yeah so right now you are in the office of the registrar first of all you bought yourself hmm? you brought yourself after 21 days of waiting and putting across that notice hmm? ya tatu ilani ya kisheria ya siku 21 lazima ipite ili ndoa ifungwe you need to wait for 21 days the legal notice mm-hmm. which must elapse for the marriage to be solemnized you have to wait yeah once the 21 days have elapsed you present yourself with your documents and then the register of marriages will be there and you'll say i do and you accept and then your two witnesses will carry with you then your husband to be or your wife to be will be uh, legally declared your wife or your husband 
before writing a notice of at least 21 days you'll have to pay 600 shillings to just um for your documents to be on the notice board after that you have to pay 2700 for the whole process and the certificate and once that is done you will be told which date to come and collect your certificate the other ones who will not make it to the office of the registrar of marriages in nairobi Therefore, these people, they will pay an extra 16500 for marriage outside the registrar, the AG office. Yeah, this is other subsidiary offices because of processing. I mean, the certificate has to be processed and shipped. Thank you guys for staying through this video until now. Tell me what sort of marriage are you in? If you're in a Kamuste marriage, um, cohabiting sort of you know, after six months, this is declared as marriage. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a certificate, so you have to apply for a certificate. I mean, what will you be doing with someone for six months in a house, honestly? You guys be playing house, yeah? Well, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Asante sana. Kwaheri. See you in the next video. Goodbye.